So this is gonna be uh, chapter 48 to, I think 49. Yeah, 49. Okay. So we do, I need to get my shit repaired too, low key. All right. Chapter 48. Joseph with his sons visited his sick father. Jacob strength. Jacob strengthened himself to bless him. He repeated the promise. He taketh Ephraim and Manasseh as his own. He telleth him of his mother's grave. He blesseth Ephraim and Manasseh. He preferred the younger before the elder. Prophesies that they return to Canaan. <gasps> Excuse me. And it came to pass after these things that one told, <gasps> excuse me, shit. And one told Joseph, behold, a father is sick. And he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. And one told Jacob and said, behold, thy son Joseph cometh unto thee. And Israel strengthened himself and sat up on the bed. And Jacob said unto Joseph, God Almighty appeared unto me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me. And said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful, and multiply thee, and I will make thee a multitude of people, and will get this land that I seed after thee for an everlasting possession. And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt, before I came unto thee into Egypt, are mine, as Reuben and Simon, they shall be mine. And I issue with thou begets begettest after them, shall be thine, and shall be called after the name of the brethren in their inheritance. And as for me, when I came from Padan, Rachel died by me in the land of Canaan and the way, when yet there was but a little way to come into Ephraim, and I buried her there in the way of Ephraim, the same as Bethlehem. And Israel beheld Joseph's sons and said, Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, They are my sons, whom God had given me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I pray thee, unto me, and I will bless them. Now the eyes of Israel were dim for age so that he could not see, and he brought them near unto him. And he kissed them and embraced them. And Israel said unto Joseph, I had not thought to see my face, to see thy face, and lo, God has shewed me also thy seed. And Joseph brought them out from between his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand, toward Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand, and brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was a young and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guiding his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was a firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my fathers Abram and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life long unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil blessed the ladies, the lads, and let my name be named on them in the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. And he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head into Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, not so my father, for this is the firstborn put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people, and he shall also, he also shall be. Great, but truly his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. And he blessed them that day, saying, And thee shall Israel bless, saying, God make thee as Ephraim and as Manasseh. And he set Ephraim before Manasseh. 
And Israel said unto Joseph, Behold, I die, but God shall be with you and bring you again into the land of your fathers. Moreover, I have given to thee one portion of blood, I brethren, which I took out of the hand of the Amorite with my soul and with my bow. Mm. So that was chapter 48 to 49. be an exodus man. So until the next video, y'all keep God first. In Jesus' name, amen.